why not let this video fly get rid of this video stop letting videos pile up I get so lazy and the proof of that is modern warfare 2 I've been getting a lot of requests to post modern warfare 2 and I'm happy to say that I don't even have to play that game anymore <laughs> I have so many games I never released for whatever reason that I could just dip into the stash and pull those out of there. I got an AC 130 montage I didn't release. I got part two to series of how did he not see me and tactical insertion noobs and all these. They're just sitting there waiting to be released. And this game is actually from a subscriber session that I ran about a month ago. I was using the M60 and I was not in commentary mode. I have I already have a lot of videos to put out, so this time when I was in the party, I was just talking with everybody. We were joking around, having some fun. And that's what I do sometimes. If I'm not talking, if we're in a subscriber session, whether it's on the PS3 or the 360, if I'm not talking, I'm in commentary mode. And it's so funny because like on the PS3, they'll be like, smooth, turn on your mic. And like, I can hear them. I can hear them. They're like, smooth, turn on your mic. Talk to us. <laughs> and I'm like, man, I'm in commentary mode, man. I'm feeling the juices. <laughs> ah. But this game, I actually did a noob move. I was running Scavenger with the M60 when I had the extended mag. I mean, why do that? I have 200 bullets to let fly. If I can't get my kill streaks with 200 bullets, I am terrible. So, I think the next game after this, I realized I did a noob move. Or actually, I'm pretty sure I realized as soon as the game started because I just copied over the class. This was my Scavenger class and I wanted to use the M60 so I switched the gun here and I didn't have enough time in the game menu to switch all the stuff around and that, and that brings me to a topic don't you wish that you could edit your classes edit your kill streaks you know edit all that good stuff while you're in the game don't you wish you could do that because I mean, haven't you ever been in a game and the other team is using, like, napalms and counters and UAVs all over the place? And you're like, hmm, you know, maybe I should take off the dogs. <laughs> so being able to change that stuff in-game would be really cool. And then another thing, too, is classes. I mean, haven't you ever been switching a class and then the game starts and... You, that's it you could you couldn't fit in you could not like let's say you're using warlord but you only put one attachment on because you didn't have enough time to pick that second one or you know maybe you didn't get enough time to even select equipment maybe you're running without equipment maybe maybe you didn't even put an attachment on because you didn't have time you should be able to change these things in game but when I think about it really maybe maybe it's too complicated to do that because maybe the game has to already know all the setups when it starts and maybe if you change it in the middle of the game, it, it wouldn't be able to handle that. And I think I just had a voice crack. <laughs> but yeah, I wish that you could make some of these changes. Let me talk about Commentator March Madness. I have to say, so far so good. There's been a lot of good videos. There's been some videos where I'm like, why would they even bother submitting something like that to March Madness? And <laughs> it's pretty interesting because there's a there's a strategy to it. You know, when you're making your video, you got to think. You know, what what video is going to get me to the next round? Because there's judges, and yeah, there's going to be people leaving comments, but ultimately, you really don't know what it is. You know what's going to get you to advance to the next round so we've seen a lot of people do things they normally wouldn't do make videos they normally wouldn't make and sometimes the response is good sometimes the response isn't too good but either way it's been great so far and i can't wait for it to continue the only thing is that it's so many videos it's going to be so many i mean the first round alone is going to be like what 30 something videos it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work for sure. 
And let me clear up something. I actually did not enter the contest. I know a lot of people were messaging me. Smooth, why aren't you in why aren't you in the competition? And I did say why on Twitter, but not everybody's following me on Twitter. So I guess I should say it here and clarify for you guys. So the first reason why I didn't enter is because I just don't have the time to submit a video on a certain schedule. Because when it comes down for a video to come out, they're going to say, okay, it needs to come out on Thursday or whatever. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but, or ladies, I should say. I don't know if you ladies too, because there's, there's, there's some ladies watching Chris Smooth. So I don't know if you subscribers, I don't know if you noticed that I don't really put out videos on the schedule. I just kind of, you know, they just kind of come out of the blue, you know, like whenever I have time to put out a video, I put it out. When I don't have time, I don't put it out. Like this week, I had three tests. I was studying like a boss. I actually did really, I think I did really well. So I can't wait to go back next week and see what my grade is on each test. But this week, I didn't touch the console. I didn't even look at the console. I didn't even look at my editing software. None of that. None of that stuff got opened because I was busy. So that's the first reason why I didn't submit or I didn't enter into the contest. And the second reason is because I just figure, you know, I have a nice little audience already. I'm, I'm pretty, you know, I'm pretty satisfied with my audience. And I figure that that spot, uh, an opportunity like that, commentator March Madness, an opportunity for somebody to be put on a stage with an audience that they've never been exposed to before. I figured that that spot should go to somebody else. And as I think about it now, as I think about, you know, if I had the time to enter the contest, I figured that maybe I could have used my spot to help out others as well. I could have maybe used gameplay from somebody else and just lay down the smooth commentary. Or maybe I could have just used my own gameplay and then maybe do a little bit of a dual com or maybe not a dual com. Maybe I'll just have I'll have somebody else's channel make a cameo appearance in my video. And that would be a pretty good theme. I mean, what do you think about that? If I was in the competition, I'd have you know somebody else with fewer subscribers. I'd have them make a cameo appearance whether it's gameplay or commentary, whatever. And that way, depending on how far I go, it's basically me and somebody else advancing along. That would be pretty cool, right? That would be a pretty interesting thing to do. But uh, either way, there's there's so much strategy in that, that commentator March Madness. You know, what kind of video should you put out? Should you put out a video that's going to maybe get you some of Woody's subs or some of... You know, because it's not just Woody subs that are watching. I mean, I'm watching, other people are watching, a lot of other commentators are watching. So even though it's on Woody's channel, it's not really only his audience watching. So when you submit your video, you think to yourself, you know, should I make a video that's going to maybe get me some more subscribers? Or should I make a video that's going to advance me to the next round? Or is it advancing to the next round? Would that give you more subscribers too? So, you know, who knows? It's really... It's, it's really interesting to see what's you know what everyone's doing and everyone has a different strategy about it and I just I like the direction that it's going in I like that so what's coming up soon on my channel I got an AC 130 montage coming out got a lot of different clips to put together mesh together the commentary is funny as always because anytime I got in the AC 130 I was always just saying some ridiculous things so that should be a pretty good video. I have a song coming out. Can you believe it? I finally found the time to lay down some lyrics onto a song and record it. Actually record, I can't believe it. I got a, I got some dual commentaries coming out where people are gonna make a cameo appearance. They're gonna help me out in the commentary. It's not just gonna be us talking to each other. So I'm gonna use my March Madness ideas for my own channel. And uh, just everything, I think everything's going to be pretty good. This isn't a 2K video, but more 2K videos are coming out, just in case any 2K people are watching. And I thought, hey, I just wanted to get out a video quickly. I didn't release anything this week, so I just said, hey, let me just lay down a, a commentary <laughs> and get rid of a gameplay as well. Why not, right? Don't let these things pile up. I don't want these things piling up like Modern Warfare 2.